Well, some businesses are still closed and large pools of water sit outside some homes on the North Carolina coast, all in the wake of Hurricane Florence. Residents are cleaning up from the beaches to the streets. Local 12's Anjanette Levy is in Emerald Isle looking at the damage and the work that lies ahead. Most of the roads here at the point on Emerald Isle are clear more than a week after the storm, but there are still some that are covered in water as people clean up from Florence. But this is really dried up right here along the fence. A day is making a big difference in Pat Hill's backyard. Thankfully, the water is receding, but it's slow going. It came all the way in my house, uh, 14 inches inside. Hill lives at the point on Emerald Isle and has been cleaning up for days. Down the road, cleaning up the beach has been a chore. Florence washed large chunks of wood onto the beach, and town workers named this the stairway to nowhere. Marines spent the weekend cleaning up the beach as well. At the fire department, firefighters are taking a short, much-deserved break. They've responded to emergency calls and backed up the town workers as they pump out the streets. Well, it's obviously they're putting in 20-hour days, and uh, half the firemen have lost their homes, so... They're working here and worrying, trying to get their families taken care of at home, so it's very stressful right now for everybody. And it may be stressful for a little while longer. Pat Hill is just glad for her the damage wasn't worse. Okay, I'm better off than a lot of people that, you know, I see on the TV, Newburn, Wilmington, they got much more damage than I did. Town officials are asking everyone to please be patient because they're working as hard as they can to get all of this trash and debris picked up as quickly as possible. In Emerald Isle, North Carolina, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News.